This video is about review for distributions. Jean is practicing her basketball free throws. Her coach estimates that her success rate is 60% from each attempt. Jean practices with 20 throws. Let the random variable x be the number of successful throws she makes out of the 20. A. Write down the distribution of the random variable used to model this situation. Since there are only two outcomes, successful or not successful, this is a binomial distribution. A2. The assumptions you are making to use the model. Each free throw is independent of one another, which means the successful rate for each throw is it's the same 60%. B. Calculate the probability that G successfully makes exactly 14 throws. Let's check a binomial distribution. X follows a binomial distribution with a unsuccessful rate P. So we will write X follows binomial distribution trial 20. Successful rate is 0 0.6. We are looking for probability when x equals 14. We will go to binomial PDF. When you take an IB exam for AISL, make sure clear the memory first. Then go to mode, degree. Then go up to stat diagnostic on so that you can get coloration coefficient for regression line. Second variables binomial PDF 20 at the trial. Probability is 0.6. X value 14. Then enter. Answer is 0.124. Let's go to B2. 10 or more throws. Probability X greater than or equal to 10. We need to remember. In AISL level, there are two situations you have to change into probability x less than or equal to a form. First, uh, binomial CDF. We can only figure out a probability x less than or equal to a. Second situation for inverse uh, normal distribution. The area under the curve uh, means uh, probability. Probability of x less than or equal to a is given. Therefore, probability of x less than or equal to 10, we have to turn into 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to altogether 20 throws 1 2 9 10 11 20 probability of x greater than or equal to 10 is 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 9 Let's go to calculator. 
second variable by norm CDF trials 20 probability is uh, 0 0.6 x value 9 you have to use 1 minus uh, probability of x less than or equal to 9 0 0.8 8.72. Let's go to C. E of x means uh, expected value. From this formula, E of x equals n times p. Variance of x equals n times p times 1 minus p. So E of x equals 20 times 0 0.6 equals 12. Variance x equals 20 times 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.6 equals 4.8. We can get sigma equals the square root 4.8 equals 2.19.